today we're looking at a quick and easy way to make dreamy, soft focus looking photos. Now there are complicated ways doing the Orton effect and all that. This is just a super quick, easy way anybody can do right now. Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, the online photographic educational community. And let's get to it. Let's duplicate the background layer. Why are we duplicating the background layer? Mostly so I can show you a before and after, but it's also gonna help for a step coming up in just a minute. So we duplicate the background layer. We go under the filter menu and we start off by choosing camera raw filter. So this is like Lightroom's develop module in a filter. So it comes up and we're going to do this. We're going to go to the texture slider. Dragging to the right enhances the texture. We're going to go all the way to the left. So we're going to de-emphasize the texture and watch. Look at the, you can see the leaves are actually looking like almost painterly when I move them, you can only zoom in a little more, you can see. And just, uh, well, I like the way I zoomed in and then zoomed back, back out. That wasn't great. Let's try that again. Here we go. Watch, watch the difference texture makes. So there's before, and you can see it looking like kind of giving it a soft look. Clarity, we're dragging to the right, also enhances detail and midtone contrast. We're not going to do that. Drag to the left, it softens it up even more. To give it an overall hazy effect, we're not going to go to a positive number, which dehazes it, we're going to add a little bit of haze. Okay, so we only have one step left really, so let's just click OK. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to blur the living heck out of this. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. All right, so go into the filter menu under Blur, choose Gaussian Blur. We're going to add like a 50 pixel blur and look how nice and soft your image is. And that's the end of it. No, no, that's not the end. All right. We have two things left to do. Go to the layers panel where it says normal and change the blend mode to soft light, which makes it a bit more contrasty. And you can see that it cut out a lot of the blur. Or you could also go to overlay mode if you want it to be a little more contrasty and a little more blurry. So either one of those is OK. Let's go with overlay and then lower the opacity until it looks good to you, probably usually somewhere in the 50% range. So I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see a little better. Here's before, and it's very crisp, and here's after. It has that nice softening effect. It's got more contrast, and it's just kind of that soft and dreamy look that you've been dreaming of. All right, guys, that's it. Hey, if you get a second, head over to kelby1.com and check out what we're doing over there. We've got a lot of great training. We have oh, around 800 full-length classes for Photoshop, for Lightroom, photography, for using your camera, for about everything you can think of. If you're a creative person, go check it out at kelby1.com. We'll catch you guys next time.